set comparison problem which of the following statements are true or false to check whether two sets are same or equal we have to check that all the elements are same in both the sets here in the first case there are three elements but the second element in both the cases are different they are not same hence this is not equal second case the elements are same in both the sets even though they are in different sequence they are same third case you can see here the alphabets are different hence they are not the same set and the last case again phi and null they are two different sets write the set in roster form represented by the shaded portion in roster form we list down all the elements separated by comma and enclosing them in a curly bracket in this question the shaded area is represented by a and b except the intersection so if you see a is 1 2 3 4 5 and b is 5 6 7 8 the common element is 5 so here the answer is all the elements in a and b except the common element which is 5 in the second example the shaded area is part of b but intersection of a and b is not included the shaded area so this is like b minus a here we'll include all the elements except elements which are in a so the answer is 8 10 and 12 represent the following using venn diagram a union b complement where a and b are not disjoint set that means there is an intersection between a and b so here a is represented by the blue color b is represented by the red color and the union will include both a and b and the common area as shown here in yellow color when we take the complement we will take consider all the area outside this yellow color which is shown here in light blue second question a intersection b complement so we see here that a and b are disjoint set that means there is nothing common or there is no intersection between a and b so we can represent a and b as two circles and nothing overlapping and so when we take complement of the intersection as intersection is nothing we will get the complete area which is u third question a minus b complement here again a and b are not disjoint set that means there is some overlap between a and b here again a is represented by blue color b by red color and when we subtract b from a we will be left only portion of a as shown in the blue color and then we take the complement uh, which is shown here in light blue color let u is equal to 1 to 10 a equal to 2 4 6 8 and b is equal to 1 3 5 7 here we have to verify few identities but before we do that let's see some fact we see that a and b are disjoint set there is no intersection between the two and let's also calculate some other sets so we can calculate a union b which will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 10 is not part of a union b as it's neither in a neither in b we can calculate a complement and b complement we can also calculate a minus b so here again uh, there is no intersection between a and b so when we subtract b from a we will get a and same way when we subtract a from b b minus that is b minus a we will get b now we can validate the identities so we can start with a union b complement we have seen that a union b is 1 to 8 and 9 and 10 is not part of it so a union b complement is 9 and 10 same way a complement and b complement intersection if we see we see that only 9 and 10 is common so this way lhs is equal to rhs and we have valid validated the first identity the second identity is a intersection b complement we have seen that a and b are disjoint set so there is no intersection between the two it's null set so if we take complement of that we'll get u same way when we do union of a complement and b complement we see that all the elements gets included so a complement union b complement is again equal to u and the identity is 
वेरीफाइड थर्ड केस ए माइनस बी यूनियन बी माइनस ए वी हैव ऑलरेडी कैलकुलेट दैट ए माइनस बी इज इक्वल टू ए बी माइनस ए इज इक्वल टू बी सो वेन वी टेक द यूनियन विल गेट ए यूनियन बी ऑन द राइट हैंड साइड we have a union b minus a intersection b now we know that a intersection b is null so when we subtract that null from a union b we will get a union b only let u equal to 1 to 10 a is equal to 13579 b equal to 46810 and c equal to 123 here we see that a and b are disjoint set we have to find a complement intersection of b minus c so let's break this problem and first find out a complement which is here equal to 2 4 6 8 10 we we'll also calculate b minus c as there is only two element which is common between b and c we remove the two so we are left with 4 6 8 and 10 and then we take the intersection of these two calculated values so we get a complement intersection b minus c as 4 6 8 10 10 second question we have to calculate here a union b union c so we'll start first by calculating the union of b union c and then we do the union with a so here as all the elements get included a union b union c is equal to u third question we have to calculate intersection of a complement with the union of b and c is complement so we first calculate a complement then we calculate b union c complement so for this we will calculate first b union c and then do a complement of that we have already calculated b union c in the second question so when we do the complement we get 5 7 9 and when we do the intersection of these two calculate values we find nothing as common so a complement intersection of complement of b union c is null fourth question we have to calculate here a intersection b complement and do a union with c complement so first we calculate a intersection b as they are disjoint set the intersection is null c complement will include all the items from 4 to 10 and then we do the union so union of null with c complement will give us c complement what does the shaded portion represent in each of the following venn diagram the first question we see that the shaded area are divided into two parts the left side is an intersection of a and b and the right side is intersection of b and c so the shaded area can be represented as union of a intersection b and b intersection c second question here we see that the shaded portion is common between a b and c so it can be written as a intersection b intersection of c third question here we see that the shaded region is outside of a b and c now we know that the unshaded portion is a union b union c so the outside area can be represented as a union b union c is complement fourth question here we see that the shaded area is part of a and then some shaded area is also part of intersection of b and c so we can write this as a union b intersection c draw venn diagram for the following intersection of a complement with b union c so here we'll first find out a complement then we'll find out b union c and then we'll take the intersection so let's first identify a complement so here the area shown in red color that is outside a is a complement then we find out b union c which is shown here in green color and then we take the intersection that is the area which is common between the two that is red and green is overlapping which is shown here in blue color second question here we have to find out intersection of a complement with c minus b so same as in the previous case we'll first find out a complement then c minus b and then we'll take the intersection 
a complement is same as in the previous case shown in the red color for c minus b first we will find out c and then remove the intersection of c and b so we will be left with the green color area and then we will take the intersection of both so we will get the blue shaded portion verify de morgan's law if u is x belonging to natural number where x is less than or equal to 10 a belongs to u such that x is a prime number and b is x belonging to u but x is a factor of 24 to verify de morgan's law first we will write u a and b in the roster format so u is equal to all the numbers from 1 to 10 a is 2 3 and 5 7 because these are the four prime numbers less than 10 we can also find out a complement which is 1 4 6 8 9 and 10 then we'll find out b b is a factor of 24 so its factors are 1 2 3 4 6 8 and we take out the b complement 5 7 9 10 here elements shown in green color are common that is intersection between a and b and same way for a complement and b complement now let's find out a union b which is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 a 9 10 is not part of a union b same way we can find out union of a complement and b complement which is 1 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 here 2 and 3 is not part of a complement union b complement next we find out a intersection b which is 2 and 3 and intersection of a complement b complement which is 9 and 10 so d morgan law states that complement of a union b is equal to intersection of a complement and b complement from the above we can see that a union b is all the numbers except 9 and 10 so a union b complement will be 9 and 10 and from the right hand side we can see that intersection of a complement and b complement is also 9 and 10 so we have validated the first identity let's validate the second one it states that intersection of a and b and its complement is equal to union of a complement and b complement so a intersection b we have already calculated it is 2 and 3 so when we take its complement we get all the numbers except 2 and 3 we have already calculated union of a complement b complement which is 1 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 which is the same as the left hand side so this way we have validated t morgan's law examine whether the following statements are true or false first case a and e is subset of x where x is a vowel in the english alphabet we know that there are five vowels in english alphabet a e i o and u so definitely a and e are two vowels so this statement is true one two three subset of one three five here the element two is not part of the right hand side so this cannot be a subset a b c is subset of a b c yes all sets are subset of itself so this is true null is subset of 135 this is also true as null set is a subset of every set write down all the subsets of following sets here the first case there is just one element in the set that is a so its subset will be null set and the set itself that is a second question here there are three elements in the set one two three so its subset will be as follows first will be the null set then individual element one two three then we'll take two elements together so we'll get one two one three and two three and then we'll take all the three elements together so we'll get one two and three third question null set so its subset will also be a null set write down the following as interval x where x belongs to real number and x is between minus 4 and 6 but on the minus 4 side it is only less than symbol and on 6 side it is less than or equal to so we'll use a 
round bracket on minus 4 side and a square bracket on 6 side because 6 is included in this interval. Second question x where x belongs to real number and x is between minus 12 to minus 10. So here there are no less than or equal to symbol. So both minus 12 and minus 10 are not included. So we will use round bracket on both sides. Third case x, x belongs to r and 0 is less than equal to x less than 7. So here on the 0 side we have less than equal to symbol. So 0 is included. We will have a square bracket on 0 and curve bracket on the 7 side. Fourth question x, x belongs to a real number 3 less than equal to x less than equal to 4. So here both 3 and 4 are included because we have less than equal to symbol and we will use square bracket on both sides.